Hello everybody, Ooh, welcome to my channel. I'm Christy, if you're new here, I do keto related videos. Every Monday I do what I eat in a day on lazy slash dirty keto. I have an entire playlist in case you wanna check those out. My entire family is doing either a low carb or ketogenic lifestyle. So if that's something you're interested in, you might wanna consider subscribing and make sure you hit that notification bell so every time I upload, you'll be the first to know. If you wanna go check out my before and after pictures, I do have those over on Instagram. My name will be right here for you guys. I do post on my stories daily. There is a Facebook group that I have, over 17,000 members. It is All Things Keto with Christy, and I'll have that linked in the description box so you can go over there and check it out. So no matter what you're doing, low carb, keto, dirty keto, lazy keto, if you're wanting information on fasting or dirty fasting, this is a great place to check out, and there is no keto police. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about all the meals I consume, snacks, drinks, supplements, just a day in the life. Now, what started out as a normal day quickly morphed into something much worse. We got information that our kitchen is going to be started in the next couple of days. So everything needs to be cleared out. So I skipped breakfast. Not meaning to, of course. Don't like skipping a meal but I unintentionally did a little bit of fasting. I have been practicing some dirty fasting here lately and having amazing results with that. So if dirty fasting is something you're interested in and wanna see more videos on that, go ahead and comment below. Before we get started, I did wanna let you know that Equip Supplements is having a deal through August and it is buy any capsule, get a capsule free. This is an unlimited deal. So if you buy three, you're gonna get three free. Go ahead, great time to stock up. These are keto friendly supplements and the only ones that I take. So I will have the information listed in the description box below so you can just click on that link. There is a discount code also, so make sure you head on over there. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with today's video. First thing every morning, she gets me. She's like, come feed me, mom. I'm dying, I'm starving. As you can tell, Mira's just like me. She's got a few pounds she could lose. <laughs> but she has to be fed, first thing. I'm not allowed to do anything in the mornings until I fed her. And she goes right over to her food and waits. And she's right on top of it. Then we gotta feed mittens. Are you hungry, baby? Are you hungry? There you go. <laughs> and Quincy's like I am. He's not a morning person, so he doesn't like to eat. Do you, buddy? Huh? I don't like to eat breakfast. Do you? No. So after I feed the animals, I come straight in here to the bathroom in this a corner shelf. <laughs> I keep my CBD and that's because it's right beside the light switch and I won't forget it. So every morning I take my CBD. We've talked about this before. This is a Santa Cruz Medicinals. I like this one because it is keto friendly and it is infused with MCT. So I don't have to worry about what oil is in this or if it's going to be something that's bad for keto. This one is the 2000 milligrams. I take this for anxiety and it's helped with other issues as well. I do not promote this. I just let you guys know exactly what I'm doing. This has worked for me. So if it's something that you're interested in, CBD oil, I'll have them linked below. They were wonderful enough to give my viewers a discount code. So it will be down below for you guys. My suggestion is do your research. And first thing in the morning, I always make my bed. It's just one of those things I feel like if my bed is made, my bedroom is clean. So we're going to go ahead and do that. <laughs> Quick 60 seconds and Quincy's already up on there. That's his favorite place. And yes, I do already have my fall pillow out. <laughs> Another thing I always do first thing when I get up in the morning is open my blinds. I just like all the light coming in. It helps with my mood. I don't know about you guys, but sunlight coming in or a brighter house helps my mood. Guess what I didn't have yesterday? I didn't have a bang energy drink, so I'm going to definitely be making up for it today. I think I'm going to go in with the Power Punch. Power Punch and Cotton Candy are my two favorites. I do have some of the caffeine free here. They taste different to me for some reason, but this is our drink fridge. You guys have seen it a million times. We just keep Powerade in here. The Aldi brand Zevia, lots of sparkling ice, some peace teas, and more Gatorade. Oh, and bacon. 
Over there's our water. Oh, I did try a new bang this week. This one is the Radical Skedaddle. I picked it up at Walmart at my store. They're $1.98 there. They have a ton to choose from now. This one tastes like if Skittles and Sweet Tarts had a baby. That's what you would have with the Radical Skedaddle. I drank half of it, gave the other half to Kerrigan, and as you can see, she's just stuck it in the refrigerator and not drank it, so I don't think she was a fan. So I figured we would do an early morning chat. It's raining, and I thought I'd go ahead and talk to you guys before I took my shower, before I even opened my Bang Energy drink. I know, I've got a couple of comments from you guys about using metal straws. I do use metal straws. It's just I already had them packed up because when the kitchen gets remodeled, I'm not gonna have a sink or anything except for the one in the bathroom. So we're using all disposable stuff like paper plates and napkins and plastic forks, plastic straws. I know, we will recycle, I promise. But we were gonna be using all that stuff so I'd already had these packed up. But I started feeling guilty and I went and dug them out. So back to the metal straw. I do look rough this morning, but you guys are used to it. And I still gotta take my shower. Like I said, it's early. Got a lot to do today, sorta. Let's go ahead and open this. I'm needing the kick of energy right now. Oh, what I have to tell you guys. Um, okay, so I've been doing really good on keto. No slip ups for like a while now. I am below my goal weight, which is 185. We've talked about it in the past that I'm five foot, between five foot 10 and five foot 11. So my goal weight was 185 when I started this keto journey. And when I started the keto journey, I was 232 pounds and a size 16. So that was my goal. I've been playing around with the numbers, wanting to get below 185 now for a while because although I'm happy where I'm at, I'm still considered overweight and that messes with your head. I know it shouldn't. Uh, it should be about how I feel, if I'm happy with where I'm at, but still that, that word overweight in my head, it messes with me. So I think I need to be below 175. So right now, that's what I'm telling myself I'm striving for is to lose some more weight. This morning, I was at 182, so that's three pounds below the 185. Uh, it's not the lowest that I've been on keto. I think I got down to 179 at one point, but then I started fluctuating. I started playing around too much, <laughs> taking in too many carbs, and then, you know, I bounced back up to like 190 something. But back down to 182. I'm happy with that. I'm going to just keep doing what I'm doing, trying to stay under 20 net carbs. Some days I do not. Some days I am not keto. Some days I am low carb. And so I am getting in way more than 20 net carbs. If you watched my grocery haul, you saw where I picked up some cashews. Big mistake. I should have known that I would have not been able to have restraint when it comes to cashews. That's like my favorite nut. So there's like nine carbs in cashews. And every once in a while when I go by, I'll pick up a few and just pop them in my mouth and that's gonna add up. So those cashews gotta go, gots to go. My tip for you guys is if you don't have to have stuff like that in the house, don't. If you don't have to have temptations, it's best not to because if they're here, I have no self-control. I don't know if you're the same way, but I'm one of those people who you don't get to be 330 pounds if you have a ton of self-control. That's all I gotta say. And I was 330 pounds. So, the big news this week. If uh, you have followed me for a while, you know that my husband works out of town. He is a welder, so he works on the road a lot of the times. And currently he is in Georgia. This week, he was directly exposed at work to COVID-19, and so he is in 14-day quarantine at this point. So, he can't come home. He can't leave where he's staying. He has to not go to work, you know, not leave where he's at at all, and just stay right there in quarantine. I hope he has enough supplies to get him through a two-week period because he's over five hours away from me, so it's not like there's much I could do. 
I've just told him to stay in, just wait. And if he starts, you know, of course, having any symptoms, then he definitely needs to go be tested. Right now, they're advising him that he doesn't need to be tested unless symptoms start to show up, which it depends on who you talk to, the time frame. It could be anywhere from five days to 10 days. So he's just waiting it out. We're hoping everything's gonna be okay. But the guy he was working with uh, is, started running a fever and having aches and pains. He went and got tested and it came back positive. So Chris has been exposed. Uh, he's not going to come home. We would love to have him home for these two weeks. Uh, he could quarantine out in my office, I guess. But we know it's best that he doesn't travel at this point and possibly, you know, risk if he has it, giving it to someone else or coming home and giving it to one of us. Although it's been a stressful time, I, shockingly enough, am not in panic mode. And you know I have chicken little syndrome. The sky's falling, oh woe is me, bad things are bound to happen. I have not been panicking. I think it's a combination of two things. I think it's a combination of taking my CBD regularly and I am on keto 100%. I don't have anything bad in me like sugars and carbs and all that stuff. And it's just my mind is clear. I can focus on what needs to be done and I'm not focusing on the negative or the bad aspects. When I'm not following keto strict and I consume sugars, or bad carbs, I can tell I have body aches. Um, my mind is just a fog. I can't focus really well. I let things get to me more than they should. And you guys have saw that the past couple of weeks because I had been struggling with keto and obviously struggling with everything that's going on. So I was letting it all get to me, but as soon as I get right back on track and I stay on track for a while, it's like the fog clears, everything seems doable, it's manageable, I, I've got this. And it's like a different world. I wish that I could not slip up or have those, you know, sugars and carbs, but I'm human. We're human people, we're all gonna slip up. So that's the thing I need to keep telling myself right now is, Christy, you feel better. You do better. You are more able to cope with the world and the anxiety and things going on around you when you don't have those things in your system. So tip number one, if you can help it, don't have them in the house. Tip number two, if you can get your family on board with low carb and keto, then it's gonna help you out even more. There is so much research going into it now. It makes me happy <laughs> that doctors are starting to steer that way and so are nutritionists and things like that. Whereas before, it was like, no, it was a taboo. So if you can get your family on board, try, just try. Small changes, instead of buying a regular tortilla, do like I did, buy the low carb tortillas or just little changes here and there. Don't buy all of the sugar and candy and bring it into your house. That's, that's me, I'm one of those people. So I still struggle with that, especially if I go to the store hungry, I'm more likely to slip up. And that's another tip, never go to the grocery store hungry because you're more likely to give in to temptation. Always keep some snacks that are keto friendly in your bag or purse or whatever you take on the road with you or when you go to run errands because that's a huge help. Now Quincy's decided to bark for the next 30 minutes. And the best advice I can give you is if you slip up, forgive yourself, move on, pick right back up with low carb or keto with your next meal or snack. Don't sit and dwell on it. Don't turn this into a whole day long thing, a week long thing or a month long thing. Wake up and be 30 pounds heavier. Remember, we're not perfect. Nobody is. This is a lifestyle. So you're in it for the long haul. This isn't just a diet so that you can lose the weight and then go back to a normal way of eating. Because if you do, you will gain it all back. That's just pretty much a guarantee because you have converted from burning carbs as your fuel source to burning fat and then going back to carbs. Your body is just all over the place. So remember, it's a lifestyle. Nobody's perfect. You're going to go off plan occasionally and it's okay. 
I'm not gonna sit and talk all day. I feel like I already have. I have to go take a shower. I have to go homeschool my child. What? For you mothers and fathers and grandparents out there that homeschool your children on a regular basis, I commend you. It is a feat that is testing my patience as a parent. I didn't think it would. I always thought, oh, I could homeschool my child, no problem. Wrong, wrong. So now we gotta go in here and get Briley up and start her day, get some of this done. <laughs> Crossing my fingers, it goes well today. I hope you all are doing well. If you're homeschooling, I hope you're making it through. You're in my thoughts and oh, we got this people, we got this. We can do it all. At this point, we're teachers, we're dietitians, we're parents, we're, you know, nurses to our kids, we're housekeepers. We do it all. So Wednesday, Thursdays, and Fridays, you're going to find us sitting right here at the kitchen table doing homeschooling. And for me, it's taking forever. I mean, is this not just supposed to be like a few hours, maybe three, four? I mean, it is taking me like eight hours to help her get all of her stuff done. And I feel like that is homeschool overload in my opinion, but tell them hi, Riley. Hi. She's not happy. <laughs> okay, homeschool time. I came back out for a few seconds <laughs> to take a break <laughs> because like I said, that homeschooling thing is getting to me. And I feel like me and Riley need a break occasionally. I wanted to let you know because I completely forgot. Did I mention or did you see this on my Instagram that Lolly's granola has a new flavor out. What? I already have a couple of these because this just so happens to be my favorite now. Mm, okay, so it's probably tied with the peanut butter macadamia nut, but this one, German chocolate. What? Lolly's is like a cookie cluster. It used to be called granola because it's like, in my opinion, a faux granola, your keto granola. So cookie clusters is what they've changed it to now. It is ketogenic, low carb, gluten free, and soy free. And let me go over the macros with this one because I know a lot of you guys love lollies as much as I do. So this has eight servings in it, 177 calories a serving, 18 fat three carbs with two fibers, so one net carb and three protein. So you can sprinkle this over ice cream, over yogurt. There are so many things you do with it. I just pull a chunk out because they're pretty big chunks and just eat it as a snack. A lot of people use this as cereal. It is so good and it's made in Atlanta, Georgia, so it's made in the South. This one has Georgia pecans in it, almond flour, organic erythritol, and stevia. Pure olive oil, cream cheese powder, organic unsweetened coconut, 100% sweetened cacao powder, and eggs. So this is clean keto. Clean keto. And it's so good. I'm not even joking. It's resealable. You can buy this up in advance and you can store it in your refrigerator. I keep mine in the refrigerator because it does last longer, but you can also freeze it. I do have a discount code, don't we, Quincy? We have a discount code with lollies uh, so you can get a percentage off. I usually stock up when they have a really good sale because, I mean, this stuff is just amazing. Take my word for it. It is so good. Okay, again, not a sponsored video, just something I love and wanted to let you know about a new product. Well, so much for a nice peaceful day. I just got the call that they're going to be here within the next couple of days to start working on the kitchen, so I gotta get this packed up. I was waiting because Chris was going to come home when it was time, help me pack everything up and move it to storage but now he's in quarantine and that's not gonna happen so i guess it's up to me to pack all this up and fix a little makeshift kitchen in the dining room I'm trying to figure out a way to pack my vitamins so that i can get to them easily i'm just going to stack them in this so while i'm at it i'm having a power aid and i'm going to go ahead and take my vitamin d Thanks to my current situation, I'm just going to throw together some lunch. This is just a steak that I've had marinating. It's the Thin Cut New York Strips that I pick up at Walmart. So this just has the 21 Seasoning Salute on it from Trader Joe's. I'm just gonna cook this on the stove. 
till it's no longer pink and I'll probably throw together some eggs or something, maybe some bacon. I threw together lunch really quick. So I went ahead and warmed up four pieces of bacon. This is the one I get at Sam's. I talk about it all the time. It is the Hormel Black Label. It's around $11 for 72 slices there. Really convenient, especially right now. I fried up one egg, I added butter to everything, and then I have the steak. I also added the Redmond's Real Salt to everything, well, the steak and my egg. And that's all I'm doing. I'm gonna fix me a turvis of water. Okay, there's my turvis of water. It's about 20 ounces, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take my joint support by Quip. I'm gonna hurry up and eat this, and then continue packing. I literally just jumped out of my skin because I'm under here cleaning out this cabinet. I bent down and Mira was in there. I thought there was like a massive rat. <sighs> my heart is still flying and I can't breathe. <laughs> but I've emptied out all the drawers and now I'm working on this cabinet, but seriously, she's just having a good old time. and. Quincy's right here. I'm having to hold him so he doesn't jump in there and get her. What are you doing, girl? What are you doing? <laughs> so I've managed to get all the cabinets beside of the refrigerator emptied out, cleaned out all of these drawers, and now it is 7.18 and I've still not ate. I think I'm gonna just throw together a quick breakfast for dinner since I completely skipped breakfast because I was working. So I'm just gonna scramble up some eggs. These are the Vital Farms. Then I'm gonna do some of the spicy sausage that I pick up. This is a great value brand from Walmart. It's not spicy. In the ingredients, it does have sugar and one piece is one carb. And then I'm just gonna add cheese to my eggs. And then I'm gonna do, I think, a fat bomb, but this is a disaster. <laughs> Quincy is like, I don't know what to think about what's going on here, mom. I've shown this several times in the past. I just thaw my sausage out in the microwave and then I put it in a pan to brown on both sides. I'm only going to scramble up one egg tonight and that's mainly because I'm already looking forward to dessert. I'm going to sprinkle in some cheese, add some Redmond Real Salt. That reminds me, I still need to pack up the spice cabinet. One egg with cheese, a half a tablespoon of butter, one piece of sausage, two pieces of bacon, and a pumpkin pie fat bomb that I meal prepped this past week so that we would have those. I'd be able to add more fat to my meals. And this is what I'm having for dinner, breakfast for dinner. I'm doing a 20 ounce turvis of water and I'm taking my immune support booster by Quip and also my iron. I take these together because your immune support booster has vitamin C and it's just good to take iron and vitamin C together and that's dinner. Okay guys, I'm ready for dessert and I have been thinking about this all day long. One of these enlightened keto bars. Have you seen these? This one is the caramel dark chocolate peanut. It's amazing. Let's see, what other one do I have back here? I have the peanut butter chocolate chip. Is that what that is? Yeah. These are only one net carb each. I've tested the enlightened products. They do not spike my blood glucose and there's no sugar added. So one net carb for a treat? I think so. Okay, I'm gonna go eat this bar. But I feel like I have proved myself today. Keto does not have to be hard. I am doing another 20 ounce turvis of water, but did you think I was gonna leave and not show you what this looked like? Uh, that's amazing and it tastes even better. Look at all that. And each one of the Enlightened products has a fun fact on it. And there's yours for the day. I don't eat these that often. <laughs> I try to save them for like a special occasion and today I feel like I've worked really hard. I deserve it. Mm. Delicious. And that's what the inside looks like. It is so good. You gotta try their bars, people. You know, I used to have a discount code for them for people who can't find them in their area. If I can find that discount code, I'll link it below. Again, not an affiliate link and I don't make anything off of it. They were just nice enough to give you guys a discount code. So I'll see if I can find it for you. 
Okay, it's bedtime. I'm gonna go ahead and take my CBD infused deep sleep caps by Santa Cruz Medicinals. And I'm also gonna take my apple cider vinegar because there is new research that's showing this is good to take at night now so that it helps lower blood glucose levels in the morning. So that's why I started taking this at night. Diabetes runs in my family, so I'm taking every precaution imaginable. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope everyone is doing well and I will see you next time. Bye.